Well, what we're doing here today is planting 6,000 uh, trees over a 10 acre site, the purpose of which is to slow the flow of water into the watercourses in, uh, in Somerset. Uh, slowing the flow is, uh, is so important. This is a natural flood defence. Obviously the trees will grow, the water will come, the trees will help uh, soak up the water, uh, keep the ground firm and uh, you know, in years to come help prevent flooding. We always plant trees almost every year on the estate because they say if you plant a tree you can leave a le legacy beyond your lifetime um, and we've stopped grazing our cattle now so it's therefore very important for us to use the land and if it can also serve the purpose of stopping the flood waters because we're in a very small catchment of the River Isle which runs into the River Parrot and, and all the flooding that we've had over the last few years um, have been caused by the whole catchment. It isn't just a sort of single area and therefore if we can do anything to help the whole situation vis-a-vis -vis flooding then that's what we're here for. We've got a, a typical broadleaf mixture of trees that are consistent with this landscape, uh, what's right, because this woodland will not just be good for flooding, it will be good for wildlife, it will be good for landscape, it will be good for amenity and good for you know, the visual impact of this area. We've got oaks to make it look nice and, um, and English and native trees. We've got some evergreens, thuyas, in order to, to protect it from wind and cold wind in the winter so it's a better habitat for, for wildlife. Um, we've got thorns and cherries on the outskirts to make it look pretty with blossom in the spring. Um, and we've got Scots pines because I'm a Scotsman and I like having Scots pines in my plantations. If we're planting into wet areas, so some areas we planted in floodplain areas next to rivers, and obviously those areas are wet, so we're planting all the willow poplar species because they thrive in those conditions. Here on a, on a slope, all we're trying to do is choose the right tree for the soil type. Um, and that's because if it grows well, that's what you want, you want a tree that's going to grow well and going to do a job rather than a tree that may look nice for a few years and then peter out. I think there's so much more we can do in terms of natural flood defence rather than just using concrete, which is the solution that the engineers will usually go for. We've got to do things in the floodplain, we know, but we've also got to do something about the hills and where the water's coming from. So valleys like this, quite steep slopes, higher up in the parrot catchment, we've got to do more about these areas as well as areas further down. The beauty of planting trees is once we've got them established and growing over the next two or three years, that's it. No maintenance, no money, it just does its job. That's why we need schemes like this on the Mendips, on the Quantocks, on Exmoor, uh, because the water goes uh, uh, from the hills, it comes down into the levels and that's where it causes problems. At the moment there's, there's grant aid available um, through the Somerset Rivers Authority, um, which, can, which can help, as in this case, Somerset Rivers Authority is funding some of the, the costs of this planting. Um, but also we have, uh, we have grant aid through the uh, People's Postcode Lottery, which is putting money also into this type of approach that we, we've got here throughout the catchment. In terms of natural flood management, woodland planting, it is like, it's like the final solution. It is, this is wood, you, we can't go back now. Um, this, is, this is here, this has is, this is changed this landscape, this will impact this valley in terms of runoff water flooding for years and years to come and it'll get better and better. So I'm excited because it shows we've really done something and we'll look back on it and we'll say we did that because of the flooding in 2014 and it will make an impact for generations to come.